Yes, all right then, lads. Welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi, and we are back again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful Monday, and we are going to be diving into Arsenal, Aubameyang, and like I said, could they be finally living with reports coming out from Spain and England that Filippo Coutinho and Kia Jurapchin, if you've been watching my channel, you know what I mean by the name Kia Jurapchin. The agent Twillian. Reports are claimed that Arsenal could actually have Con no, Philippe Coutinho cross over to the Emirates Stadium in terms of solving creativity. Abameyang or Lacazette could actually cross over to Barcelona in terms of them getting themselves a new striker we're gonna be diving into that we're gonna be uh, you know we're gonna be um trying to make sense of the situation between Aubameyang and Lacazette both players did miss our uh, our opening game against Brentford I mean they disappeared like they just disappeared as well it's been confirmed and reported that both of them will actually miss the game towards Chelsea the Chelsea game the second in the league both Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette will be away. What the hell is going on with this football club? Do me a favor, smash a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel as well, because just like it is surprising for you, it is surprising for me as well. Absolutely surprising for you and surprising for me. Two strikers disappear just like that, and the, uh, the, 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 the club says, they are unwell like they are unwell my name is kosi and we're gonna be diving into more of that so please do smash like on the video please do subscribe to the channel and why not let's get the party started so to start the party i will discuss um uh, a report from alex rodriguez who said kia eruption pulling the strings to get Coutinho to arsenal he earns around 440k per week reportedly with Aubameyang earning roughly 275k per week Barcelona have offered in around 200k per week uh, which uh, uh, which is reportedly uh, receptive too the deal is around 55% complete via Alex Rodriguez now there's a lot to speak about this there's a lot like i said with transfer rumors we've got to be very you know we've got to be very very um I mean, skeptical, that's the word. We got, we've got to be so skeptical when it comes to transfer rumors. But the fact that Aubameyang has disappeared in training, the fact that Aubameyang is nowhere to be seen, and the fact that Arsenal have, um, have actually refused and deliberately refused to tell us the whereabouts of our best goal scorer of our captain. Because for me, Aubameyang is not just an Arsenal player. He's our captain. That, you know first and foremost but uh, not only a captain as well but he's the best player in terms of when it comes to you know, getting goals for arsenal over the years over the past three years four years abameyang has, uh, has been our best goal scorer apart from last season when he struggled and then had you, know, you had alexander lacazette coming in and pepe stepping up you've not had a better goal scorer for arsenal than pierre emerick abameyang in the last half a decade my question now is where is you know where is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang? Where did he go to? Alex Rodriguez saying 440k per week. Filippo Coutinho could actually cross over to the Emery Stadium because Arsenal are desperately in need of a, a, in need of a creative midfielder, and Pierre, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang could actually move over to uh, you know the, the camp now to FC Barcelona. First, the first question for you is. Would you do the deal? Would you take in Coutinho? And um, would you like? I mean, the question is: Would you take Coutinho in and Abameyang out? Would you swap them? Let me know in the comments below because I would love to get your thoughts in about this. Tell me yes, Kosi, I would swap them, or tell me no, Kosi, I wouldn't do the swap deal. And I'm gonna try to tell you what my opinion is right about now please do smash a like on the video and do subscribe to the channel as well that is if you're new or if you have not actually done so yet so um i mean let's speak about it let's try to get into it Pierre mcabameyang is arsenal's best goal scorer i think we know this 
nobody does it nobody unless unless you're like i think he's done unless he's finished but at the moment with the likes of nketia balagan uh and alexander like i said all uh, you know all our arsenal we have one goal scorer we can trust and for me that is pel emrick abameyang at this point in time if anyone tries to sell to me the idea that abameyang is gonna go to barcelona and we get Filippo coutinho Filippo coutinho to create chances for arsenal as a as, as a creative midfielder and then we lose Aubameyang. I don't trust Arsenal. And I'm say, I'm going to say this on camera. I don't trust Arsenal to sign in a new striker, a new decent striker in this summer. I don't I, I don't back them to and I don't think they will. So all the all all the reports of Arsenal want um you know want to sign Martinez, Arsenal want to sign ABC in terms of strikers. I don't buy into them. And I don't believe in you know I, I don't believe in them. I think what Arsenal are trying to do is they are trying to create more problems on top of problems that we already have. We know as a club that the striking line has been in, has been in, in, in a little bit of equilibrium. There's been a little bit of balance uh, when it comes to the stri you know, to, 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 to the striking um, line. Not really because these guys are giving us so many goals, but I think. If you compare our stri our forward line to all the other departments, the midfield that is uh, completely empty and the useless defense that we have, and the goalkeeper that has been, that has turned himself um, into a useless fellow, and the fact that we do not have a backup goalkeeper, I think the forward line has been a you know, in a little bit of um, equilibrium. It's been okay, a little bit okay. If we lose Abameyang and Lacazette, who comes in? For me, that is the first question who comes in who comes in so for me that's the big question and and, and i love Mikel and arsenal to think about it if you lose a young you've all to go to, you know, to get in a decent striker like you're losing one of the best assets if not the best assets you have in your team the you're losing the only guaranteed source of goals in your team if we lose Abameyang, we've got to replace him right absolutely now to, on to alexander like i said now the stories as well are still indicating that arsenal will move on pl emrick Abameyang, but they're also very open to moving on alexander like i said Abameyang is one of the you know is one of the players on the list and fabrizio roman has, you know, has spoken about it before and said yeah there is no player who doesn't have a price tag in this window arsenal could actually move or i could actually look to move him on now more reports actually suggesting the arsenal are even more than willing to move on alexander like i said with some you know with, with, with reports in spain suggesting that if abameyang deal fails to go to barcelona arsenal could actually use alexander like i said as the swap element as the element for you know as the element in the swap deal for the deal for Felipe Coutinho. Now, my my thoughts on um on Alexander Lacazette like leaving Arsenal are very clear, and they have not changed in one bit. I still think Arsenal need to get in a better striker for backup. I still um I still think instead of leaving him to go for a free because he has you know one year left on his contract, I would rather and I would definitely rather let him go. Now that doesn't mean let him go and don't replace him well. If we can replace, you know, like is it well, get him out. If we can't replace him well, let him stay for the season and deal with it next summer. And I'll say that again. If we can't replace, like I said, let him stay. If we can't replace him, let him go. With Tammy Abraham now moving to Roma, it looks like all our strikers, um, all our, you know, all our targets, as you know, in terms of getting in a striker have actually moved on martinez said to stay at you know at inter milan tammy abraham to roma and the likes of Oton edward have already started their campaigns at celtic looks like arsenal is just is, is that is just actually meandering around here and they're looking for um how to waste time and they think we are absolutely doing we're not doing very very well arsenal to sell la alba and laka would you sell both of them would you actually sell any of them i'd love to know 
in the comments below do smash a like on the video do subscribe to the channel my name is Kossi, and like i said i will be you know i will be updating you with whatever happens around arsenal have a, you know have a very very good stay away from the channel and we will speak to you very very soon